guys. It is autumn, cozy reading night. I am holding sweet baby girl. She's just had so much milk. It's ridiculous. I don't know if she's, but I, I don't know what is going on, but she's had like seven ounces since 3.30 and it's six o'clock now. She's a hungry, hungry girl and that's okay with us. Uh, yeah, so it's autumn cozy reading night. I'm not in my attire yet. I'm thinking of starting it a little early. Oh dear, she has a lot to say. Um, I'm just gonna burp her a little bit while we're talking. This vlog, if I even vlog the whole thing, is A, going to be super shaky. So, warning, if that drives you insane, sorry about that, don't watch this one. Um, and also might have some silent parts because later on, I'm going to have to bring Nora up to bed and I'll read in bed, but who knows if I'll be able to say anything. So it might just be lots of like visuals or oh, she's upset. Why are you upset? Did I take your bottle away from you too early? Guys, I found super cozy le leggings. I think I mentioned in the uh, Autumn Cozy Reading Night TBR that I got some leggings from Walmart that were fleece lined. No good. These are like just cozy, not too hot. And then I think I'm actually going to wear my Queen's sweatshirt because it's ultimate coziness. Little Liberace. Are you being a good girl? You haven't been on camera in a long time. Hey, you're still hanging out. You're still hanging out with us, hey? You're gonna join us for cozy reading night? Maybe. Okay, so I'm in my cozy sweatshirt. No bra on, so I'm not going to show you fully because nobody needs to see that. But I am now going to apply some lip balm that's not really lip balm. Get super cozy. You know when your lips are so dry that they're kind of painful and you just put it off and put it off? Why do people do that? Or why do I do that? Put it off. Oh dear, now I have extra. Um, little tip, this is one thing that I do sometimes, which is weird. I put it on my underarms, um, underarms, <laughs> under eyes, um, to nourish that area because I don't use eye cream really. I'm really bad with that. So anyway, um, Katie over at Chapter Stacks posted something, I think it was on Instagram, and she said that she buys... Um, nipple cream for lip balm. I think I was very liberal with that and it's all over the place. Makes so much sense. Now, I don't know if I've mentioned to you, so I'm using that now. I don't know if I've mentioned to you that like breastfeeding hasn't gone amazingly well. Um, so many reasons for that. I can talk about that in another video maybe. Um, but yeah, now I have all of this nipple cream that I was like, what in the world am I going to do with it? Bam, perfect timing. Winter is coming. I will be hydrated. Thank you, Katie. So I am downstairs now. Barry is just feeding Nora more of the bottle. That girl can eat. And I need to figure out what I'm going to have for dinner. I don't know. I might just go in for the snacks. Is that terrible? I don't even really care if it's terrible. Um, if the dairy milk buttons go down, I have to tell you, it is not the original bag that I planned. It is not. I ate all of that in one sitting in a moment of major stress this past week where I was not sleeping. Um, and so I, I eat emotionally for sure, which explains a lot. Um, but I'm having a little bit of red wine, which is very nice. Frisky zebra. Try it out. 
And I'm going to read the last tonight. I'm so excited for Autumn Cozy Reading Night. Let's get the mood going. Okay, so I've decided to go for some popcorn. This is the, what is it called, Barry? Boom Chicka Pop? Oh, popcorn. It's called popcorn, Boom Chicka Pop popcorn. Delicious. And then I've got the buttons. And I think that's what I'm gonna have tonight. Um, not the healthiest dinner in the world, is it? At all. But, oh well, it's my life and my Friday and my autumn cozy reading night. So it's going down. So it's finally time to start talking about the book I'm going to read tonight, the last. I'm about, I'm halfway through really. And this book gives me major anxiety. It is about the end of the world uh, where bombs drop all over the world, Washington, Scotland, everywhere is pretty much gone. And this guy who went to this conference in Switzerland um, has survived along with a group of people living in this enormous hotel. And that would be, well, terrible, but it's even more terrible because there is someone killing off the people in this hotel. And it is very nerve-wracking like I'm having anxiety reading this and I think it's more the uh, apocalyptic setting and how terrible people can be in this kind of world sorry I had to stop because Libby needed to go outside for a pee um so yeah this book is truly making me feel anxious to the point where I'm kind of excited for it to be done because that's how it's feeling in the pit of my stomach. So um, it's been a little while and it's this man documenting the days since the world has ended and what's happened in the hotel. People are committing suicide and then of course people are being killed off. So how many suicides are actually suicides and how many are this person killing people off? And I don't trust anyone in this book. I really don't. It makes me uncomfortable. I don't, I really don't trust anyone. Um, really liking it. Um, it's not, the writing itself isn't insanely gorgeous or anything like that, but it's thought provoking. And the fact that it's creating such an emotional reaction in me, that's a good sign. Not a lot of books make me feel that uncomfortable, and this is doing that, so we shall see what happens next. Okay, so one thing that I do find a bit silly about the book is the romance. So I'm currently on day 64, and there are romances popping up with people who were married, and they know that their wives or husbands died. Um, and they had kids and everything, and there are multiple, multiple, like, romances popping up, and I just find it unrealistic. I totally believe that you would need to create, like, very close bonds with people early on, and I think friendships would form, but you would still be grieving the loss of your loved one. After two months, I just don't think that anyone would be moving on. So I'm finding that a little bit annoying. But what I do like about this is that like our main character is kind of the detective of the bunch. Um, so there's one death that they know is a murder. And many people are just willing to 
not really think about it. And they're just like, the world is different. I don't know how you get to the world is different now so quickly when it just ended. Um, but so many people are just ready to ignore it. And it, the death was a child. And our main character um, is like very much tied to his morals, I guess. And is like, no, this is not, this is not how the new world will be. And a life is still a life, and I'm going to find out what happened to this girl. So I really like that. I really like that we're kind of detectives alongside him. So I'm going to keep reading. So it's time to start the nighttime routine, guys. It is um, 7.30, and that's when our nighttime routine begins. Um, so Barry is going to bring up little Nora really soon. I am going to take off my makeup and get super comfy. I just wanted to mention, <laughs> I have already put out wintry soaps. This one is Marshmallow Flurries and it smells unbelievable. It's got notes of warm marshmallow, fresh lavender and smoked woods. I'm so glad. So that's going on in here. I'm going to show you guys our little setup. This is my like cozy t-shirt that I wear at night. Um, so we've got, first of all, we've got the owlet, which is something we put on her little foot to track her heart rate and her oxygen levels through the night. And then this is the outfit that she's going to wear tonight. It's got little moons on it, a little onesie with moons, and then her sleep sack. I love the sleep sack. It's got a little rainbow on it. So that, and then this is the book she's going to read tonight with me. Bunny Roo, I love you. So cute. And then there's the last. Okay. Using the sandwich, close, close, close. Ah, oh, the sandwich is closing. Closey, close, close, close. Ah, oh, it's okay. She sweetheart. doesn't let it up this time. <laughs> no way. We are reading Bunny Roo. I love you. She's just very tired. And I finished reading her book. Nora needed an entirely other bottle, which is insane. And now she's like resting so that she has to rest a little while before she lies down or otherwise she'll just bring everything back up, which is not pleasant. So, I just finished reading Bunny Room, I Love You, and now I'm going to read a bit of the last and see if she'll let me read. We'll see. Guys, I'm going to sign off. Uh, cozy reading night. Nora is really fussy. Um, still reading the last, still liking it. And I hope you had a good night. Bye.